This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in South Richmond. More specifically, I am in the Woodland Heights section of Richmond, and today we're going to take a look at a really unusual property. This is a four bedroom, three full bath home, and it is new construction. And the thing that makes it unique is that here in this area and in the city of Richmond in general, we typically don't see a whole lot of new construction. Richmond is an old city and therefore most of the housing stock is older as well. This uh, is about a fifth of an acre and it's what we call infill. Uh, the previous uh, use of the lot, it could have been a vacant lot, it could have been a, a home here. Um, we just don't know, but the developer came in and of course put up this beautiful, beautiful new home. Here in the family room, we can see it's a fairly open floor plan. Just really nice finishes all the way around. We've got plenty of molding, it's pretty much molding in every room. And uh, they definitely took a lot of care to make the details stand out. A lot of recessed lights in here as well. This is a very bright home. And they thought about, of course, some of the important things like putting the connections there for your flat screen TV. A few days ago, I was on Facebook and I spent way too much time on Facebook, but someone that was in Texas was relocating into Richmond and they wanted to find out from people that lived in Richmond what their recommendation was as far as housing and area. And they said that schools were important to them, so that was also a consideration. The responses were all over the board. They were actually pretty hilarious. Uh, the responses ranged from, you probably really need to stay in Texas to, oh, Richmond's a wonderful place that has plenty of diversity and you're really fine. Uh, all the convenience here, amazing. We have a location where in a day trip, you can either go to the mountains or the ocean. And uh, you can't do that in many, many parts of the country. Uh, this is our first floor bedroom. This could also be used as an office. We've got plenty of closet space there, as you can see, ceiling plan, and of course, all of those details that I mentioned earlier. So getting back to my story, uh, I wanted to uh, share with you that uh, the information that they received was very, very important. I remember when I first relocated to Richmond from another state, I basically asked the gentleman that was already working for the company what I should do as far as housing. I ultimately took his recommendation and uh, have subsequently moved uh, two other times since then to different parts of the Metro Richmond area. And each time I've moved, we've had different uh, types of neighborhoods, different types of uh, amenities, things that uh, were advantages and things were challenges with each particular location. There is no perfect home. There is no perfect location. Uh, if you ask people that have spent tens of millions of dollars on homes, uh, I guarantee you they'll say, oh, if I could only change this or that, uh, typically they would do so. Uh, when I think about information, uh, another thing comes to mind is last week I read an article, a very disturbing article, uh, that said 400 homeowners were foreclosed by mistake. Uh, Wells Fargo made a mistake when they communicated to owners about whether or not they were eligible for modification. If you remember back when we had the housing crisis, there were people that were getting modifications, which basically meant that they could change the terms of their loan in order to stay in the home. And ultimately, the lender did not have to foreclose as a result. And uh, plenty of those were given out. People would have to contact the lender in order to see if they qualified. So, Unfortunately, those people, those 400 people lost homes. They lost homes, they lost dreams. They had to completely turn their lives upside down over bad information. And I say that to share with you that real estate is critical when it comes to getting good information. You can do some of the empirical data online. You can find out which schools have the highest performance, student teacher ratios and many other factors that go into things like housing, excuse me, like education. However, with housing, it's a little more sub subjective. And that's one of the reasons I do these videos is to give you an idea of what's in the marketplace at a given point in time. Well, we have some of the most diverse real estate here in this area, condos, townhomes, starter homes, bungalows, executive homes. You can have homes on the river, 
you just have so many different options, historical properties, that most places they don't offer all of the housing diversity that we have here in Richmond. And it is relatively affordable. You guys have had me, heard me say many times before, if somebody makes minimum wage, if you make minimum wage, we really need to talk, but even if you did make minimum wage, I could still potentially get you into a house if you have the credit to do so. The income is not nearly as important as the credit score. And there is no minimum income when it comes to lending. They will lend you money to buy a house even if you make fast food money. So anybody can do it. Okay, we are now in our master bathroom and this is just gorgeous. This light is flowing in through this window. Beautiful, beautiful tile floors. And you guys know, I've got to take special time to show you this. Not only is that shower head beautiful, it's functional. This part of the shower head comes out from that part and water does come out of that part as well. So that pops right back in there. If you ultimately want to see this house and buy it, please don't think that that conveys if you work with me as your buyer's agent, I will probably write that shower head in as part of my compensation. So we'll figure it out. Okay, one other thing I wanted to share with you was that if you are out of town and you're coming to this area, you're not sure where you're going to be, the Rent to Own program is a great option because it allows you to get into a home. If you don't like it after a year or you find a location that works better for your household, you can simply leave that location, have no financial penalty, okay? You get your two months deposit back and just simply move into a home that is better for your situation. So there's no real downside risk there, but plenty of flexibility. Gives you the chance to know the area, get settled in, and then decide whether you wanna close on that property or not. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, be sure to give me a call. My name is Max Williams. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you would be kind enough. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.